Pentecost Sunday, Year A From the First Letter to the Corinthians Now there are varieties of gifts, but the same Spirit, in the name of that Spirit, who with the Father and the Son reigns in glory everlasting. Amen. Today's the birthday of the church. It comes at a time when so many of us are reimagining what it means to be church when our concerns for the safety of our members prevent so many of us from gathering together. Our readings for this time remind us that the manifestations of the Holy Spirit that made us a church in the first place don't always look the same from one person to the next and from one occasion to the next. Paul makes a point of this in his letter to the Corinthians. To one is given this, and to another that. And it's true that each person may tend to manifest the Spirit in a particular way. But it's also true that each person may manifest the Spirit differently under different circumstances. We have no reason to believe that the disciples were visited by flames of fire at other times. But we do have later evidence, say, of healing. In our gospel, Jesus finds the disciples locked in a room. He sends them out into the world as the Father sent him. And they're speaking of God's deeds of power in different languages on Pentecost indicates just how far they are to go. Our psalmist speaks of the Lord sending forth the Spirit both to create and to renew the face of the earth. When Jesus unlocks the doors behind which we have locked ourselves, not only in quarantine, but in all the habits and fears to which we cling, he also sends us forth as recipients of that same spirit, not only to renew our church gathered, but to create and renew the church wherever we find ourselves. The works of the Lord are manifold, May they be made manifest in each of us. In the name of that same Lord, who is Father, 